Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of our motorcycle modding workshop. Uh, as I've mentioned in part 2 I went offline and I created the uh, layer for our side cover and I've created a layer for our f uh, rear fender. Now we have all parts that we want to work on. However, if you had a look, have a look at it, it doesn't look really good. I think we're missing a little bit of a uh, shadow here and there because at the moment it's just this it looks flat. Uh, so what I think we'll do, we'll add some shadows to it. Uh, let's start off by creating a new layer. Let's call it shadows. And what I'll be doing, I'll be simply painting black over over our our layers. Uh, it's not a very sophisticated way, but it it works just fine. We're not looking for 100% realism. We are looking for something that looks fairly alright, and it's really quick to do. So just to make sure that we'll be painting over just our layers, ideally we want to select, make a selection of all of them at the same time, so we can just uh, paint over just those areas. And it's very simple to do. You press left, control and shift together, and you start clicking in your layers, one by one, and it will create a multi-selection from, from all the layers we clicked on and we have our shadows layer active so now if we zoom in we can uh, start working we can start painting the black uh, we'll use a standard brush uh, opacity let's set it to around 20 percent that that will make sure that you're not painting pure black but you're painting like dissolved black and we'll start off let's let's add some shadow maybe here and just paint in single strokes as you can see with each stroke it will be getting darker so you have full control of over how how dark you want the areas to be I think we need to darken that area a lot in the original photo you can't really tell where the fender ends so we can darken that quite a bit uh, maybe add some some bit here just tad here See, I'm, I'm not really paying too much attention to how, how I do that. It's not that important. Let's make that stand out a little bit. It's round after all. Just single strokes. Bam, bam, bam. That looks alright. Just do the tank the same way, just the bottom of it. There we go maybe just a little bit under the barge and just darken these areas That's there we go, something like that and um, I think that's it. Let's have a look at it. Choose your selection tool, click out anywhere. And that's with your shadows, that's without. With, without. Looks good to me. Now, let's do the fun part now. Let's play with the colors. Uh, I want to retain my original layers as they are. So what I'll do, I'll make a copy of them all by selecting them and pressing Control J. There we go, there's our brand new copies. And I want to merge them all into one single layer because I want to work on all of them at the same time in the same way. So select the first one and just keep pressing Ctrl E to collapse the layer into a single one. Now if we switch off the old ones, you can see if we switch this one off, everything disappears. So we have one layer containing our all all our layers that we've created before that's perfect so the colors it's very simple what you need to do is press alt and from this menu around here choose hue saturation and you want to take use previous layers to create clipping mask because all the areas we're interested in are just the areas we've created so take that okay that and the one that's very fun to use is the hue slider. So look at that. 
you start sliding it and your bike starts changing color. Oh yes, poison green. <laughs> right, uh, let's leave it at this one for the purpose of the demo because as you can see it's it's very bright, it's very saturated, it doesn't look real. Uh, but you have the saturation li uh, slider over here, so if you get that down to a reasonable level it will actually appear like it could be a real paint uh, on a motorcycle. I shall leave it as blue, I like the blue one and I think blue looks blue looks quite, quite realistic from, from, the, from the very start, but if you, you drag the saturation down a little bit it actually looks like it could be the the real deal and that's it that's your custom paint job and you can modify the colors at any point anytime you want if you find that you don't fancy the uh, uh, the color at the later stage of modifying that project you can always come back to that layer double click it and you always have control over your color so you can quickly check how it would look like with something bit more extreme or a bit more tame everything's up to you guys and that's it for part three in uh, part four what I what we'll do I'll we'll have a look at creating some decals maybe something like a really simple flame job or or some some custom custom uh, layer on top of your uh, probably let, we'll start with the tank let's see how that pans out um, but uh, that's it for now. Just give it a go. See uh, see how it comes out. Drop me some feedback. Cheers, guys.